you'll you are a little bit good in dotnet now you'll go to java you'll try to do java and then you'll be little bit good in java then you'll feel oh java is not giving me this uh, advantage then you'll go to javascript hello and welcome everyone if you're new to this channel then my name is amit patel and uh, you are watching musings with software engineers if you are new then subscribe to this channel and let us begin uh, i am working in dotnet field since one and a half years should i change to some other domain in coming years or stay only in dotnet domain what helps in long run see 30% of all software development if you see uh, i did a video on my channel okay i did a video on my channel in which i talk about the top 20 most popular programming languages okay in 2020 i did this video in the beginning of 2020 so you will see that uh, csharp.net is somewhere on the 6th or 7th position within the top 20 there are hundreds of programming languages there are like 200 150 to 200 programming languages out of that i am only talking about top 20 and within dot top 20 csharp.net comes in the top uh 10 programming languages which are the most popular okay so dotnet has its own clientele okay see what happened is that in the 1980s and 1990s and the 2000s okay in the last three decades microsoft did really well with its windows operating system and its windows server operating system okay as well as microsoft did really well with its development tools that is visual studio programming uh, microsoft sql as database and all these uh, tools and technologies like asp.net uh, wcf um, entity uh, entity level programming so all these tools and technologies that microsoft built these had the market uh, market capitalization of around 25 to 30 percent 25 to 30 percent these clients are not going anywhere so dot net development will be required for a uh, time immemorial till the microsoft company is there dot net will always be in picture also if you want to go and join uh, microsoft then learning dot net is really good okay you you are a dotnet programmer that is a best thing to do uh, if uh, you want to go somebody some day and join microsoft or you want to work on microsoft tools like there is microsoft dynamics for that you need dotnet program okay so you whatever these companies whichever companies using microsoft platform for all their development there is azure development and uh, even azure as a cloud platform it has a very good market share if you check the top 5 cloud platforms in the world the name of azure comes up in that which means that dot net development is very important it's not going away anywhere if you think that just because you are into dot net development you cannot grow in your career i will say that that's a wrong thing to think about instead of that what you should do is one you should become proficient in various tools and technologies within dotnet so you have already spent one year okay learn wcf very well learn all the tools that microsoft comes out with uh, microsoft is coming up with a uh, oh, hello centric engine hello centric engine is something that is used for ar and vr technology correct so there are so many so many fields in which microsoft is investing its uh capabilities when microsoft is investing find out those and keep progressing in that direction where you learn along with just dot net programming become a specialized person in certain kind of uh, programming okay then also become expert in some kind of a domain depending on whatever pro uh, uh, products you are developing or services you are giving let's say you are working for a retail domain or you are working for logistics or you are working for a product in aviation depending on what product you are working on 
you become a master or an expert within that domain that will give you an edge as a software engineer okay see after a certain level every software engineer has the same skills okay when you see a software uh, .net software engineer and a senior .net software engineer you will see there is not much difference in the kind of programming both of them are doing they are almost doing same but a senior software engineer may know more about all the different tools and technologies they may be expert in some kind of a domain they may have built some really cool projects or really cool products and that gives them the edge over you so if you want to go from where you are to a senior software or to grow in your career path then start becoming an expert okay you are already in a good field dotnet i am a dotnet engineer my entire life 23 years i just stuck to microsoft okay in the year 1997 we started working on uh, microsoft technologies and we started with visual basic programming and then we moved to dotnet in 2000 but in 1997 98 there was a wave of java programming okay java was becoming very popular lot of our friends shifted from uh, microsoft to java okay and lot of companies got bruised because of the bubble okay so it's not that by changing the programming languages you are going to get a benefit it is like you'll you are a little bit good in dotnet now you'll go to java you'll try to do java and then you'll be little bit good in java then you'll feel oh java is not giving me this uh, advantage then you'll go to java script maybe there you are not getting it you'll go to python so you will become a jack of all trades and master of none okay so start becoming a master become a master of your programming language so good that when somebody asks that we need a dotnet programmer your name comes up do some dotnet certifications so you can directly go and work for microsoft forget about all the other companies that you are working for directly work for the source of that particular programming language which is microsoft itself because microsoft will always want dotnet engineers correct so think about that <coughs> uh musings by software engineers is a live show for you who want to make a career in software industry all those people who are watching my program who want to grow in their salary who want to grow in the career faster uh look at my program of how to become a players uh link will be in the description and see you in the next live